welcome back. I'm oh Kitty. You see this cat? She's from Nadezhda, and she's asking for her dinner, but she's an hour early, so you just ignore that. Um, yes, <clears throat> I made a quick video this afternoon, um, just giving you a quick update. We just wanted to show you um, the photos from the last two weeks. Saturday feed um, the the big cooks. Um, in the second lot of photographs. Um, Zlatka is not there because she's, as I said in the video that I made this afternoon, she's sick. So please keep her in prayer. I've also been sick, so we haven't made a video for just over a week. So that's why there'll be a lot of photographs of food in this um, video. Um, we'll be showing you the two weeks of feeding the families. And so sorry that it's a lot of pics. Just want to get up to date because obviously the school, praise the Lord, is opening tomorrow. So you'll get to see, you know, a lot more of the kids. Over the next week, there'll be pocket money photos and pictures of the school. I'm not sure if the church is opening, maybe. I know the school is opening for an hour tomorrow morning. So look out for, I mean, it might take us a little while to get the video together. But the pics that we're going to be showing you now is of the last two weeks, in the big meal on Saturday, and the finishing of the roof projects. Um, there's still a little bit to do, but we've had to put a little hold on completing because the roofs are done the walls are done the floors are done we've put laminate down the one family that is away working away we haven't completed theirs we haven't finished pet show's house um but he had a, had a roof um and we would like to get furniture for the for the families that have just had babies but this has been our quietest month as far as funds are concerned we've had enough money to complete and we're also we've waterproofed the roofs because they had a little bit of leak and they've had some heavy rain and so we've had to go back and fix that problem um, and we've obviously laid the lino in their in their houses this week but then we've had to stop for a little while because your know, wages are due in just over a week and there's only just been enough donations general fund donations to cover that and the feeding and clothing that we you know put money aside for each month so I'm sorry that it's the same pics again and again, you know, the school pics are coming up, the church pics hopefully will be coming up and Bojador and the team are really excited, you know, for moving forward. So enjoy these pictures and God bless you. Me and Natasha again are still planning to go out to Nadezhda. Um, I think we're planning on travelling in July next month, but it really just depends what happens with lockdown, we're not sure if we're going to be expecting a second wave, so look out for that, you know. Um, and I'm sure there was other things I was supposed to be saying. I can't. My head is full right now. It's so hard remembering back. I hate getting behind with the videos. You know, it's really difficult to to remember. But these pictures are the, the you know the feeding and the finalising of the projects. And um, yeah, God bless you all, and thank you. God bless you. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough Every single lie that tells me I will never measure love Just the sum of every high and every low Remind me once again just who I am Because I need to know Awesome. And I forgot to mention, 
Uh, we did actually have a donation come in specifically for the project that Gosho is working on. Two, actually. One of them um, was for Gosho's project for Dance Show's House, and the other one was um, an amount to split between the two that we mentioned last time, Vasco's House and Gosho's House. So um, we were going to send that money over and start working on that project right away, but me and Natasha have been talking, because we're going out in a couple of weeks, hopefully, as long as we do get to fly out, we would like to do that project. So that for those of you that are sending for those projects, please bear with us for the wait. I just, we just think that it would be really great to get some, really, some more personal footage. Um, we would like you all to know Dance Show better. And so to spend some time talking with him and about, you know, his plans to move into his own place above his father's house. And also for you to see how the building works. A few of you have asked, you know, for prices of this and prices of that. And it's really difficult because certain shops are not open at the moment. And we just really would like to get, you know, really involved with this project so that we have an understand, a better understanding of how it all works and the costs of things um, for you to see all of this. So please bear with us, you know, we are saving up for these projects and we will work on them when we visit. So if you um, don't know what we're talking about, it's in a previous video, I think it's in last week's video, we mentioned that Dan Sh Gosho is building for Dan Sho and that Vasco is building for himself. And message me if you want any more information on these people or their projects, we've got the photographs, just probably not going to put them in this video. Um, yeah, so if you want to contribute towards these projects, do. Just know that we're going to hold off for a couple of weeks so that we can, you know, be involved. So thank you for your patience and thank you for your donations, for your prayers, for your support. I know people are emailing us ideas, which is fantastic. You know, um, yeah, it's just really excited to get out there now. We've been away from the Nadezhda for longer than, you know, than it's been in a long time and, and we miss them. So... Yeah, be praying for us as we plan to travel and we'll speak to you soon. God bless you all. Goodbye. Hi, just quickly because I also forgot to mention that um, you'll see um, Gosho handing out some clothes from a large box. We are so happy that the, they received these. We sent four. Myself and Jasmine did a little rally round local friends and family and cleared out our own children's clothes and our own clothes and we managed to fill four huge well about 23 kilograms each so yeah about 90 kilograms worth of clothes and bedding and toys were sent over a couple of weeks ago and they arrived we didn't know if they would we were just praying that they would because of you know travel restrictions we weren't sure if there was going to be problems with post but they arrived and so the photographs um are obviously of them being distributed. They didn't get much footage, but we're just blessed to know that they arrived and that these families that, you know, have just been blessed with roofs have now got some, you know, really nice baby clothes as well. So, and then the last little clip, Bojadar messaged me a couple of days ago to say this morning it was so sunny and now it's raining. And I just would like you to understand what that looks like in the Dejda because they don't have drains. So when it rains, it floods very quickly. So the last little clip at the end of this video is just so that you can understand the kind of conditions that we're talking about. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Everything you think of me.